We'll be back here. Enjoy it. We'll be back here. All in all, I converted the missus to an Arsenal fan. Only took nine years. Fair play. <laughs> Better late than never. Hope Arteta don't get nine years. I'm peed off these. Yeah, I'm not peed off. Robbed of a sterling cameo. John Ant, you're proving, man. Like Paul Pogba says, Man United fans know very little about football. Sterling is on loan from Chelsea to Arsenal. How the hell was he playing today in the Premier League? Even the Chelsea fans saying Oliver doesn't like Arsenal. It's mad. Everyone's saying Arteta out and get who crybabies need to shout. I'm not necessarily saying Arteta out, but generally, man can't say don't sack the gaffer because who else are you going to get? I'm not saying I want Arteta out, but it's not like it's Jurgen Klopp, Pep, Conte, Jose, Wenger. Like, I don't think it's one of them games where I'm going to do man glue, man, all these things. I think it's. I think a draws the fair. I think it's a I think it was a better performance in the right direction. I think the same issues that we generally have, not creating and converting chances, switching off defensively, a lot of them still remain today. It is where it is, man. I don't understand why do you know what? I don't even want to be harsh because I understand why Trossart came on. But one, this is why I like doing watch alongs with you lot. I can only speak for myself. I said don't bring on Trossart. Now, on another day, Trossart's a hero. Today's a villain. I'm not saying Cucurella was terrible today because he wasn't, but how on God's green earth he won man of the match where, for me, easily Caicedo was better than him. Hey, Arsenal was on a Netflix thing. It's always next season and like I like Arteta. As I said, I think you're a good manager, but all I care about is getting over the line. Right now, you're not on that. The club are not sacking my man. He got a new deal before the, he got a new deal before the season really got going. If Arsenal, as I said, this is why I let some of you know I said this. If Ars, what did I say? As long as Arteta gets a top three finish, he's good, and he doesn't get embarrassed in the champs or in the League Cup or whatever. We're not on the Real Madrid thing, and I'm not saying sacking Arteta means success. I'm not saying keeping him means success, but we can't just say keep him, man, because he's going to do that. Today, I don't think it's an Arteta out and everybody's crapping this. I definitely feel, because we didn't get three points, on top of where we face ourselves now, seeing City drop points, Liverpool running away with it, I understand why frustrations are going to boil over. I'm not, I don't think it's an Arteta out based on this game. I feel indirectly, you know, when you have midfielders that can't really split lines, you built the squad, didn't it? Turn this off as well, man. Ain't no one trying to... I ain't trying to hit... Where's my remote? I ain't trying to hit Gary Neville, man. Ain't, that's that's one thing I'm not here for. I don't want to hear Gary Neville. I don't really care about that. Like, Gary Neville just chat shit. Uh, Gary Neville, I beg... Listen, Gary Neville, please, please. Me and you, boxing match. Money goes to charity. My bank balance. Money goes to charity, please. I'd love to box in your lip. I'd love to box in your lip. Fuck it, I'll fight Gary Neville and Phil Neville same night. And I swear they got sons. I'll punch up everyone, man, because you don't chat too much shit. I'm sure United fans will even salute me for doing that. Gary Neville, like you're just a muppet. Bye. At the end of the season, if Arteta doesn't win anything, he has to go. He's not gonna go though. Havertz with his bozo moment and Trussart with his lost the game. I don't think Havertz is to blame today, man. I don't even think Trussart's to blame, bro. But, like, he should have bagged. But even before that, what clear-cut chances really and truly... Obviously, we scored. But what clear-cut chances are we making consistently throughout 90 minutes? We're not doing that, bro. There's not consistent chances being made. I'm still remembering the heart. Yeah, Martinelli had a couple. Well, had one. Well, a couple because he scored. Trussart had a couple. It's a, like football, like maths is simple, bro. The more chances you make, the more you think you. I think a draw is a fair result. Both teams switched off defensively. Both teams didn't take their chances. Both teams were susceptible in the counter attack. Both teams lost the ball quest in questionable, pardon me, in questionable circumstances. Jamie, man, did, did Saka fuck your bitch? Because you're onto him too much, bro. If he did, she gone, man. She get a footballer dick, bro. She gone, bro. Calm down, bro. Pardon my French. Pardon my French. I apologize. I even think you lot, like, you You see the thing with football, yeah? You don't need to keep ahead, bro. Like, you man can't sit here and get on to, like, 
be doing too much with Moreno as well. And I don't really give a flying monkeys about Mikel Moreno or what you lot feel, but like you lot are being in you lot are being dishonest now. Like you I understand you're frustrated, but like don't make frustration make you say bullshit. They love to bally you on Twitter. Yep, yeah, it's too it was too early, but I, at some point I knew it is. I told you lot Enzo Fernandez assist. It was bait. If I'm harsh. And it's not all the same, but you've taken the lead against Liverpool City, Liverpool City, Chelsea now, and not walked away with three points. Hey, Martinelli scored though. I'm leaving. I am leaving with something tomorrow when we do our live stream. I'm leaving with sign. Boy, we did decent, not enough. Typical Arteta bottling as always. I'm not going to draw out Arteta. I, I, I can't lie. I don't understand why man are rattled. If man are rattled, it's just, it's boiling over emotions because of Bournemouth, Newcastle, Inter. I'd even extend that to uh, the second half against Shakhtar and just a general giggity giggity about Mikel Arteta, which is deserving. And obviously Liverpool are running away with the thing. City are bottling. That spilled over. And obviously we haven't won the game today. That spilled over. I think if you watch that 90 minutes, granted, there are things you can ask questions of. We can take nothing away from Neto. Bad boy finish. That was horrible from him. I mean, horrible from Arsenal. We took the lead. Ch Chelsea had half chances to bag. We definitely had some chances. But Palmer was a ghost. I don't know why I put him in my FPL this week. But only time we did terrible was against Newcastle. Bournemouth as well, even before the 10 men. I'm not our tetter out either, but I do feel like a, I'm not our tetter out. And I'm not Arteta in. You ain't showed me enough, like, to back you. If Arteta stays, which I think is it, then it is where it is. If Arteta goes, I'm not going to cry, bro. I have no doubt in my mind Arteta is going to go off and be a good manager and win stuff. And we might think, well, did we let him go too early? But I don't care about that. If you don't win anything at Arsenal Football Club, I don't, Arsenal Football Club, I don't care. I really don't. And as I said, one love for the rebuild, Arteta, which some fans are like, oh, but he rebuilt us. Big him up for that. I don't care about that no more. It's not I don't care. Big you up for that. It's about getting over the line. I think Arteta's got this... Like, there's people that Arteta can do no good with. And obviously, with the sentiment we're at now, I can understand that. There's also some that do too much with Arteta. He's a, You know, you can't call a man a genius and he's changed our fortunes and he's done this and he's done that and not hold man to high standards. I think indirectly, Mikel Arteta is to blame because he's the, today because he's the manager and you look at... Pardon me... The, like, we ain't really got midfielders that consistently are building things. Even a half fit Odegaard, who weren't anything to, you know, big him up for being involved. But he didn't really do anything to scream and shout about. If the fact that he's given us a lot more and we've looked a bit better shows Arteta ain't really got a plan in that regard. I do think Arteta, I think Arteta is a great tactician. I think he's a genius in many ways. I think he's got aura. I like the way he rebuilt the team. As I said, big you up for that. It's about getting over the line. Novice manager, been here five years. Peas have been spent. Got good players out there. Making things hard. As much as I feel City are City and Liverpool are Liverpool, we make things harder than they need to be. I don't think Chelsea or Arsenal can complain about drawing today. I genuinely don't. Sometimes you win when you don't deserve to. Sometimes you lose when you don't deserve to. Some games you get what you deserve. And I think a draw is the fair result. Chelsea would probably think, yo, maybe if we defended better, if we took our chances, the same with Arsenal. I think second half, both teams could have could have nicked it. We didn't though. Arteta def has to get questioned if Ancelot wins that. That's uh, that's deep, Marcel. Like, really? I, have I really lost my head today? Really? Make sure you smash the like button, man. How do we get a point, bro? Because you switched off defensively, bro. Yeah, man can't talk to me about Champions League. Unless we win it, ironically, on the Chelsea thing. <laughs> Did you forget Arsenal winning the Champions League, bro. Liverpool can't go unbeaten this season. They've already lost. They, Liverpool will drop points. Whether, whether Chelsea or Arsenal can take advantage of that is another thing. I'm not saying Arsenal... Arsenal are third. Let's, like, for me, out of the three teams, Arsenal are third. It's between City and Liverpool. Liverpool have a target on their backs. It's all going great for Liverpool. I, I'm not a fan of this whole they ain't played everybody crap because you can only play what's in front of you. But at the end of the day, there's 28, 27 give or take games left. Yeah, for Liverpool. There's no injuries, major injuries at this moment in time. And it's only five points. If Liverpool lose their next two games and City go and win, where do you look at? My point being is not to say Liverpool are going to bottle whatever. 
whatever the sentiment around Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, who are above Arsenal at this moment in time, City, when you look at the data, there isn't too much. This is what I told you a lot in August. When you get to the 10, 11 game stage, Mark, this is what you get to see what team's about. But still, you can't you can't draw conclusions. We're at the 10, 11 game stage, Mark, right? How much money do you want to bet we're going to be talking about different teams? Some that are doing well failing, some that are failing doing well when we get to the 20 game, Mark. Liverpool have won the weekend without a doubt. Technically, we still keep a decent record against Chelsea. But yeah, man, why didn't Ethan play? When you find out, tell me, innit? When you find out, tell me. I truly hate fans that say, who would do better than Arteta? Did most of you even know who slot was? Bro. I mean, Inzaghi's not going to leave Inter. Gasparini's not going to leave Atalanta. Jabi Alonso's not signing for us. But yeah, man. Get on rants. Big up rants. I try. You lot need to tell rants to pattern it, man. Arsenal have stagnated. And the, I wouldn't, the players potentially have been complacent, but those that are in charge of the recruitment, clearly they think players are better than what they are. Whatever, whether we tried or not, there's been an inability to bring players in who, get, who take us to another level. Arteta hasn't evolved. He hasn't. Hasn't evolved. The last two years, I've been saying they know you lot. They know we're good at set pieces. They know the low blocks. They know certain things that we do. You become a marked entity. Haven't evolved. I big up my guy Jamzo, man. No, 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 no doubt he's got some serious, 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 serious clips. The the Odegaard assist was the only big thing he did, but that's exactly what we missed in terms of our goal scoring. I'm not even gonna get out Odegaard too too. Too tough, man. Yeah, you're not the only four points. This is why you can't draw conclusions. Not a Liverpool fan twerking for them. Top gooners were disrespecting Henri for criticising Artel. There's a weird section of mainly social media Arsenal fans that get at Ian Wright and Thierry Henry because I'm not... Listen, there's a lot of old heads who chat shit, but there's a lot of young fans younger than me at 29 that Artel is probably the best manager they've seen. It's a weird, weird game, weird cult, like, like, weird, weird, brazy cult. Like, you like Arteta for what he looks like. Make no mistake. The man is a lovely looking man. Pause. You know, he's got aura. Been in the press conference. The man's got aura. I think he's a great coach. But I don't care about any of that at this moment in time. For me with Arteta, it's about getting over the line. I'm not saying that it's the right or the wrong thing. Go and look at Barcelona. And I don't know what they're going to win. But Javi, Javi, sorry, set the levels. And then, yeah, I'm not being negative. I'm not saying you, Derek, but there's one thing that annoys me. Yeah? Had we have won today and I was saying, we're back, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. There's a section of Arsenal fans that would tell, they would not tell me I'm being too positive, relaxed. There's weird, and it's all in copium. That's why some do too much with the negative thing. Some do too much with the positive thing. I don't know about anyone else. I believe, of course, you lot have seen me for, what, three and a half hours now. I'm an Arsenal fan. Like any football fan, of course I get emotional. But for me, I don't know about anyone else. I like to look at what is in front of me. Generally, there's things to be positive about Arsenal. In terms of winning a league and, as I said, getting over a line, it's where the questions are at. I've said it the last two or so years and even before that. Arsenal have this ability, maybe not so much, well, the goal, yeah, we shoot ourselves in the foot. So, yeah, I love to see City drop points and, you know, I'm going to be there when Liverpool drop points. Does not matter if you don't do your job. People can sit there and say, and yeah, we have had a, you know, the first 10, 11 games, it's been some difficult kind of fixtures then. People can say, yeah, no one's had a start like this, which is true. But everyone's got to play everybody twice. That's the beautiful thing about this Premier League. Everyone's got to play everybody twice. We've had a weak bench for the past three seasons. When will we solve that? There's only one man that can solve that. That's Mikel Arteta, and previously I do. Let's face it, DG, we're not there, sadly. But, and what annoys me more than anything is the non-Arsenal fan content creators that sit there and say, oh, Arsenal are unstoppable in that. You don't even believe half you're saying. This is what annoys me about content creators, because half of them don't believe what the fuck you're saying, and the real doesn't get anywhere. I agree with your Arteta comments, to be fair, bro. But for me, I wouldn't know who could replace him right now. You got anyone in mind at all? Realistically, Arteta could leave and we get worse or we get better. But that 
can't be anything, you know. I'm not saying you, but that same logic is saying not sign, don't, don't, you know, don't sign another centre midfielder who's a six because we've got rice. Like you try things. If it don't work, fuck it, try again. Like I, we're not Real Madrid, and I'm not even saying to sack Arteta, but we're not Real Madrid. You're seeing the rumours, and whether rumours are are consistent with what's going on is another thing, yeah. But if they sack Carlo, they sack because he's failing in their minds, and they get a next guy and it don't work. My man's getting sacked as well. I'm at the point where it's just about being a winner, Arteta. I'll be real. Like, Arteta, for me, you're a good coach. You're going to be, you're going to do, I genuinely think Arteta will win the Champions League and do crazy things one day. If that is not at Arsenal, I don't give, you can get me on, on, on tape. And sorry for swearing, kids out there. I don't give a flying fuck. If it's not at the club I support, I don't care. I really don't. This is where the conversation is. And for me, I think Arteta would be a lot better if he if he had his own David Dean. I wish we had, you know, I wish our, the owners were on this winning thing. They're probably sitting there and saying, well, Liverpool, they have got Salah and this and that, City and City. Bro, let's be honest. If this club finish within the top three, don't get embarrassed in the champs. You know, don't get embarrassed in the champs. Context-ish, if you don't get embarrassed in the cups, you can stay in. Jesus just dribbles and loses the ball too much. He's meant to be on the futsal cut. Jesus. Yeah, he will do it. He can take us over the line, but the owners didn't do enough in the summer. Everyone didn't do enough because as much as I can get Edu, the owners, etc. If the owners said, bro, I've given you a lot of money. You don't need to do better in terms of selling. I don't know if Edu suggested, yeah, we can't get Nico Williams, but I'll give you this player, that player, and that player. And Arteta said no. And then obviously we've had to get Sterling. We can still win the title. Pfft. Pardon me. Mathematically, you can. Me, I don't believe Arsenal winning the title. You lot killed me for going on talk sport and saying, I think the Champions League is impossible and the Prem's improbable. That being said, go out there and still and, uh, try and achieve the impossible. I know my team. There'll be a day. I don't know when it will. I might even have sideburns by then. There'll be a day where I'll genuinely sit on YouTube. I hope so, really. And say, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. I'm just an armchair expert. But I think I know... What wins a league title? And I don't think we have it. I think we have enough to challenge. And if, you know, fortune favours the brave and, you know, certain circumstances fall in our favour, you can win the league. I don't think, though, regardless, stepping into August, regardless of what I've just said, can Arsenal win the league? No, I don't. Shoot me. No one would be more happy to be wrong than me. Shoot me. It's impossible, bro. Like, the champs is impossible. Of course it's not. You're in it to win it. But I think it's impossible for Arsenal. The champs is summed up by fine margins. We don't have that individual brilliance. The Premier League, yeah, there's 27, 28 games. Forget Liverpool and City. We all know we're going to drop points again this season. The way the, the squad has been crafted, it's not how you are at your best. It's how you are at your worst. And at our worst, can we still put a run of games together? We're still having the same... And again, I'm not even dissing Arteta. We're still having the same old conversations about certain individuals and certain certain individuals certain la lacking certain things and certain level of playing squad. Only an idiot is going to do the same things again and again and hope for any something different. Question. Even if Arteta gets given the players, do you trust him to win the league? Well... If trust was on the scale of 10, 5. Because I think Arteta is his own worst enemy. I think a, a lot of the problems are down to certain things he can't control. But I think the lack of attacking play, what we're seeing in the midfield, the crossing thing, the individual brilliance. Bro, all of this is you. I think for last season and this season, we have a bigger chance of winning the champs compared to the Prem. Prem is too competitive with City. I'm different because I think Arsenal are more likely to win the Prem than the Champs. You've got 27 games. There's more margin for error for us, for City, for Liverpool. Champions League, it's margins. Like, what summed up the difference? Oh, fair enough, it was a penalty, but City done that. I mean, Inter done that. Across the two legs, I don't think we was terrible against Bayern. Away from home, we were shit, to be fair. But margins. We don't have individual brilliance to that level. And if we do, it's just Saka. You go and look at Real Madrid. They've got couple men. Barca even. Couple man, Liverpool even, couple man, City, couple man. I don't know if I said it, Liverpool, couple man. We know if Saka has an off day, which he did today, we're, like we're shot in the foot, bro. Arteta's doing the smart thing too much, bro. And as much as I like Arteta, you was a rebel, so you do rebel things. If you know, you know. 
Big up Pat, so make sure you're following him. Arteta Sexuals Cult, Arteta Outers Cult, the middle is where it's at. The middle don't sell. You, Rance, Matisse need a podcast, bro. Matisse gone Hollywood, big him up. I've been on to Rance this week, bro. Get on to Rance, bro. You lot spam Rance. Tell him to run the show. To be fair, as much as even me, I'm vexed at Trossart, bro. Realistically, who else is coming off that bench? I'm not even going to be too harsh on Trossart because if you bagged, you're a genius, you're this, you're that. You've been shit this season. You're doing shit stuff. You sold Saliba down the river. You got sent off against City. Cool, you shouldn't have taken that ball of Havertz. But how the... F and again...